Welcome to episode 16 of the Sandy 10 build series. In this episode, we are going to cover the guard tower. Uh, sorry for the slightly wonky release for this weekend. Um, stick around to the end. I've got a little explanation and how things are going to go for the next little bit. But let's go ahead and jump into the build. We're going to be doing two of them for you today. One is going to be the guard tower, which you see on the right, and the other is going to be a guard tower alternative that I've turned into a gatehouse, which you see on the left, to match up with a uh, little prototype wall that I've got there. Walls might change, but we'll see. Let's get to it all the same.
different doing uh our guard tower here and then an alternate guard tower here and this one we'll actually use as a guarded gatehouse but let's go ahead and take a quick look inside I'm gonna need to grab that right quick we've got a bed the uh, guard tower requires a bed uh, oh my armor stand didn't come over so we've got an armor stand here this kind of works like a little closet for the guard we can come upstairs here and there's nothing special about any of these stairways staircases this will bring you up to the first level you can follow the stairs up here to the second level look out over your vast colony and that's pretty much all there is to say about the guard tower you saw it um as i was building it for you the only thing the guard tower requires is one bed in older versions, if you are playing in older versions, it actually used to be one bed per level, uh, but since at least maybe 116, at least 118, 119, you only need one bed for the guard tower. The guard will never use it, but he has to have it. Uh, then over here, what we did is I converted the guard tower into a, a gatehouse. Don't need that anymore. So if we come down here, uh, oh, never mind, I forgot. I copied and pasted this over, so I didn't need these. So I put the guard tower block over here instead of in his little domicile and the uh, guard tower version over here. We can go into either wing. There's just a couple of barrels for decoration. We can go up the ladder and we will end up up here. And what we'll have are uh, walls that will actually connect to the side of this that you can use to ring your colony. But other than that, the actual decoration of the tower didn't really change. Uh, we can go back in the other side here. This is our little bedroom for the guard. He's got a furnace, a little bit of countertop space, his uh, bed, and we've got our two chests. Uh, again, there should have been an armor stand right here, but it didn't copy and paste over when I moved the schematic, and we can run up the... Uh, ladder one more time to where we put in that little table and chair set and that's pretty much all there is uh, the colonists will use the uh, special gate blocks that are here to go in and out the colony if they want to obviously this side would face out and this side with the doors would face in and uh, well, no, it would make a little bit of a difference. I'm not sure how the barbarians or the pirates, what happens when they run into this gate. I would hope and assume they don't open it, but most of the time I disable raids because I don't like them anyway. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for our guard tower. The one last thing I'm going to do is just jump over here real quick so that I can show you... Uh, just the prototype wall, and this is partly why this took so long. Uh, was building actually three schematics in one. We don't need... Well, that's... There we go. That's a little better. We only need the one block on the outside. One thing uh, we should probably do, though, is... Actually, we don't have to worry about it. Only in this spot here, but they should only get up to there and stop. So what... What I'm referring to is the fact that the barbarians and uh, raiders in general can place ladders, but since we used panels here, I can't place ladders, can't place ladders on walls. They could place ladders here, they could place ladders here, but they're going to get up to here and stop anyways. So the only resort that is left for them to uh, get up the wall, they could get up here though, I suppose. I don't know that it would do them much good. This gap wouldn't be here. They'd be locked out. Though they could use it to run along and jump up here. So uh, I'll have to think about doing something. We could do something like that. Uh, just to add a little projection off of there. Because then they wouldn't be able to do that. If I do that though, I've got two, two placeholders out here. So that whatever blocks are there will stay. Although I suppose I don't have to. It would just clear out one block, extra block. 
in front of the wall. So, anyways, that wraps it up for our guard tower. I hope you enjoyed the short video. Uh, obviously, I haven't broken these down into their lay uh, levels yet. And also, I totally forgot and skipped right over the composter. Uh, it's been a bit of a hectic week. Just as a heads up, uh, video releases are going to be a little bit uh, helter-skelter into July because I sign on a house on Wednesday and then we'll be moving, working on the house and whatnot for the rest of the month of June here for the next couple of weeks at least. Anybody watching that in the future, you know, you don't need to much concern yourself with it because we'll be past it already. But as always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have an awesome time, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.